I want to zoom in on distractions because for you, your girlfriend at the time was a saving grace and was a savior to fish you out from this abyss of despair and hopelessness. But then using distractions to help us heal, it's very short term. It's putting a bandaid on the symptom. And then that symptom is going to eventually outgrow the bandaid and trigger something even deeper. So I ask that question because a lot of people tend to use distractions, whether it's social media, a quick surge of dopamine hits, or using substances in your case, or using relationship in a codependent container, right? Like, oh, I don't have to think about my problem. I just have to focus on my relationship and my partner. Yep. <laughs> right? exactly I'm a great like human that. being because I'm a supportive partner. Yeah, I, I, I don't have to revisit my issues. But the only way out is through. And that's, that's a truth that stood the time. So for you, uh, what would you say to people that have this tendency, not because they're lazy, not because they don't want to do their work, but just lack of insight? Because lack of toolkits and exposure and experiences what would you say to those who have the tendency to use distractions to temporarily alleviate from where they are? And then once they get better, the cycle continues. I think you actually said it and it was slowing down. Because when you slow down, you become aware. And you, when you become aware, you can then start to change things. And if you're not aware of the distractions that are taking you off your path, then there's nowhere to start. But let's say you do know you have maybe a habit of getting distracted by something. Let's say your phone, very easy distraction. The thing you can do to start changing these and change any habit that you want to change is not actually changing the habit. Just track it. Just write down on a daily basis how many times you do that thing. Let's say it's your phone. How many times do you go on social media and just scroll? Don't change the habit. Don't even try to change it. Just write down somewhere how many times you did it in a day and just keep doing that every day. Now, what might happen is the number might start to increase because you're getting better at the self-awareness. But what happens over time, over a month's time, it could probably just a month, four weeks, that number is going to start to go down because of something called the Heisenberg Principle. Where it's almost like once you become aware of something, it's like a fairy. It starts to get a little further away from you. So let's say you want to lose weight and you keep eating snacks or you keep doing late night snacks or whatever it is. Just track how many times you're doing that. How many times are you snacking in a day? Don't change it. Just track it. You become aware of it. You'll probably track it more because you're becoming more aware. And over time, just through that principle, it will start to reduce. So in terms of distractions, that's what I usually tell people as a very low kind of like, don't do anything, just do that. And that will actually help them become less distracted. If not just more aware of the distraction, because once you become aware, then you can really start to change.